Abstract.com here, and today we're taking a look at Motion X GPS Drive. This is a fully fledged GPS navigator for the iPhone. It only costs 99 cents. You're not going to get a better deal anywhere else. This is an awesome app. Let's go ahead and jump in. This is the first opening screen, so you're going to see your first. Uh, you're going to see your current location when you open the app on this 3D looking map. We actually use Bing Maps here, so it's one of the most accurate maps on the market. You're not going to have any issues like you do with Apple Maps, unfortunately, at the moment. So you could double tap to make the map interactive. You can move it around. You could pinch to zoom, or you could use these stepper buttons to just zoom in and zoom out or you could tap the current location button and it will center on your location. As you can see this flag sticks around when you move the map around. That's so you could locate your destination and you could pick it out and at the bottom over here in the bar you will see the address change as well. So let's go ahead and pick something not too far away. We'll simulate this drive. Pick something with a nice amount of turns to simulate the action. We're just going to pick this road over here and go ahead and tap select. From here you have several options. You have your destination address written here. You could tap navigate and that will jump right into the navigation. However, we're going to go and tap nav choices and here you could go ahead and use the voice guidance. You get one month of free subscription when you download the app for the first time and for the full year it only costs you $10 to get voice guidance for all your navigation and you could choose to walk or drive. Silent guidance is always free and you could also preload the maps as you drive that way you won't use any information and data if you're traveling abroad somewhere out of the country. So we're going to go ahead and tap preload maps and from here you could simulate and preload maps so we're going to go ahead and do that. So the maps are preloaded and right now we're simulating the route as you can see feet turn left now turn left and then in 400 feet turn right so we have some voice guidance going on it's very crisp and clear and as you can see it now full screen right the app goes into full screen as you're navigating and if you touch on the screen all the uh, heads up display will pop up again so you could go ahead and navigate through the app. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just tap on it. The navigation still continues and from here you could actually go ahead and play your music. If you tap play you could scroll through your albums, your songs and whatnot and choose a song if you would like. Prepare to turn right. As you can see you have your uh, directions at the top as well as the voice tells you or where you're going, how much time remaining, now turn right, and the directions as well. You could also view the directions this way. Let's just Prepare jump back to, to the map. Right. We'll just finish now watching. Turn right, and then in point one miles, turn right. We'll just finish watching this demonstration just so you get an idea of what the navigations are actually like. Now turn right and then in 500 feet you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived at your destination. Sorry about that email, we're just going to go ahead and continue. If you tap the menu item you have several options here. You could go ahead and search for places. This is actually very cool. There's a ton of varieties and ton of things you could search here. If you tap the Wikipedia button, you actually get a nice list of nearby uh, things that Wikipedia has found for you. And if you tap on each one, you could get a nice little description of what it's all about. And there's tons of different options. You could choose to search for parking, airports, hospitals. You could type in your search term here and you'll find it. Um, you could actually go ahead and view traffic as well and we'll show you green means good red means bad if you're used to the old Google Maps back in iOS 5 and less then you'll be familiar with uh, the traffic color coding it's pretty standard as you can see we have some rush hour going on down there 
we'll just tap the current location button to center on our location and zoom in a little bit more. Let's go ahead and jump into the menu one more time and jump into the settings where you could configure several different things. You could change from miles to kilometers. We'll go ahead and do that. There's just several other things that I won't go into detail, but they are there and you could go ahead and change them. We'll just tap stop navigation and we'll jump back to the map and just want to show you one more thing you could actually go into my position and it will give you a ton of information about where you are like your latitude longitude speed accuracy of your gps your heading your altitude and your current address also if you would like to enter uh, indoor mode for the gps just tap the spinning globe at the top right click ok and the red flashing globe will indicate that you are in indoor mode. We'll just jump back out of that and jump back to the map. This more or less concludes the Motion X GPS Drive application for the iPhone. It's one of the better navigation applications. For just 99 cents you have awesome maps with awesome navigation. It's just a deal that you cannot miss. Go ahead and check it out on the App Store.